You get a move on, you might make breakfast before someone gobs in it. I don't want any. You can hit the showers then. <laughs> this place smells like a bloody air pod. I wash in here. Showers. Look, just give us a break, will you? What? You think I should treat you differently because you used to be a screw, huh? Move it. Die! Die! Oh, Die, please wait. I have got nothing to say to you. I just want to know how Jim is. As if you give a monkey's. It wasn't my fault the police arrested Jim. That was Betts and Grayling's doing. But you hardly stood up for him, did you, Sylvia? Now he's a prison officer locked in a nick full of cons. How do you think he feels? Do you think you could get me a visiting order, Di? I'd like to explain. No! The last person Jim wants to see is you, you stupid cow. And you'd better stay away from me as well if you've got any sense. A stretch on that side of the bars might be worth it for what I'd like to do to you. Some people don't let the grass grow, do they? What? <sighs> well, welcome to a... This one less pain in the... Hey, you. <laughs> what do you want? How does it feel on our side of the bars? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't sass me. We all know what you are, screw. No, mate. You got me mixed up. The only thing gonna get mixed up is your fears. Come along, Fenner. If you think moving in with a baby snatchers is gonna save your skin, forget it. Tell your lady to take a good look at you. Because someday, I's gonna carve up your face good and proper. Sit down. Oh, Jim. Oh. Oh. God, it's good to see you. I've missed you. I've been lying awake at night wondering what you're up to. Yeah, well, I haven't been having sweet dreams, I can tell you that. We're gonna get you out of here. They've got no hard evidence. Just a grainy photograph and some misunderstanding about where you were that night. They can't convict an innocent man. Jesus, don't I hope you're right. Don't give up, Jim. Yeah, well. These grailings out in his queer boy's arse. That's something, I suppose. What is it, huh? They've reinstated Neil. And I reckon your tribunal evidence was compromised by this. Jesus Christ, I don't believe it! Now, I'm rotting in here with the scum of the earth and he's... Calm a... down, Jim, calm down. Calm down? Do you know why they put me in here? I asked for segregation. They've put me in the VP unit with all the pervs. It's sending me out my head. I'm beginning to think I might be one of them. Stop it. You've done nothing wrong. I always thought I could hold my own. And now, now everything's smashed to pieces around me. Everything I know and trust is all gone. Except you. You'll always have me. Whatever happens. We're married now, remember? It's not marriage. I'm sorry, Di. I know I've let you down. No, you haven't. Believe me, Di, I never wanted to put you through something like this. Honestly. It's not your fault. 
You couldn't have known what Betts and Neil were cooking up. Nobody could. You're gonna get out of here, and we are gonna get through this. I don't deserve you. We're in this together. Fine. Oh, um, someone sent a letter asking about rent and a key for a lockup. Lockup? Yeah. What would you want with a lockup? Jim? Look, Di, before I tell you, you've got to remember that Betts was accusing me of rape. I was scared. I was innocent, but there was no way I could prove it, so I'm. I had to find some way out. I don't understand. Well, I was gathering information on Karen. It's all stored in that lockup. Why in a lockup? I I didn't want to have anything to do with her in the house. Just the thought of that bitch meant to be one puke. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll clean everything out. It's not a problem. It's what else is in there? What do you mean? I couldn't find anything on Karen that was going to help me, so, um... Oh, God forgive me, Di. I took her car that night. What are you saying? That picture, it's me. I took Betsy's car. No. No, it couldn't have been. There were eyewitnesses. They saw a woman. I wore a wig. I wanted to frame her. It was the only way I could get her off my back. But please believe me, Di. I didn't mean for anyone to get killed. It all went wrong. No, you're confused. It's the trauma of being in here. It's your nerves. Remember what happened after Askins died? It's all in your head, Jim. Please listen to me, Di. Listen to me. I'm guilty. You killed that man. I'm so, so sorry, Di. <laughs> Please, you've got to help me. <laughs> you've got to. It's all lies. Everything. 